So, grab your dumbbells, get ready to rock. We start with some lunges in 10 seconds. So we take the dumbbells and the hands, we're going to do alternate lunges, okay, and away we go. So step forward, come down, you can touch the knee, but don't bounce it off the floor. All right, looking for right angles between the hamstring and calves. Keep the core strong, so try not to shift your upper body forward so that the front leg takes all the weight like so. Try and keep yourself upright. Pick a point in the wall to look at in front of you. Keep staring at it and that'll keep you upright. And again, make sure you're getting a good bend in the knee and we're not turning it into a hip flexor stretch rather than a lunge. And stop, now we're going to go on to the back and we're going to do some chest presses. So from here, again, you need to go up a weight, then do so. Slow and controlled, bring the elbows down to touch. Don't rest them there though. I know it feels light now, but after so many reps of these, you're going to feel these starting to burn. And guys, if you find this easy or you're only working with light dumbbells and you feel you can do more, well, watch the video again and start from scratch. And up we get, we're going into some bent over rows. Okay, now I'm going to do alternate bent over rows today. So we're going to do one arm at a time and then swap over. So back nice and flat, up and other side. If you guys want to do both at the same time, then feel free. But remember, this is exercise three of 10, so we still got a lot to do here. Just keep the head in line with the spine. Keep the shoulders pinned back. Don't let the weight pull you too far forward. So you want to keep good back alignment here. Core engaged, knees soft. Abs drawn in. So we're not putting unnecessary pressure on the back. Just to hold the position. And stop, now we're going to do some stiff leg deadlifts. So, feet hip width apart, shoulders pinned back, knees soft, tilting from the hips. Really feel a good pull in the hamstrings, and then back up. Now, nice and deep, but again, most important part about this exercise, guys, don't lock out the knees. And also, from the head down to the butt, nice straight line. No curve in the upper back, and you've lost the exercise. So try and avoid the temptation of trying to touch the floor with these. Back nice and flat. Hinging from the hips. Keep the spine in control at all times. Don't let it curve. And stop, now we got Cuban presses. This one's gonna burn. All right, so I'll do it from the side so you can see. It's an upright pull. Turn and into a press and repeat. So it's an upright pull as opposed to a reverse bicep curl, so not this. Same motion as if you were lifting your shirt, so up, turn and press. Again, keep the core strong, feet hip width apart, glutes engaged, abs engaged so we're not arching the back throughout. Oh, it won't take long before these babies start to burn. And the deltoids are pumping. No 
go swing into the back and stop. Now we're going to the bicep curls. We're going to do alternate curls. So up to the left and down. Really get maximum flex on your biceps with this, guys. Try not to swing it up. Shouldn't be coming right the way up to your shoulder. Your elbow should stay nice and tight into your ribs. Yeah, it's a reasonably small muscle grip the biceps, so it'll not take long for these babies to start burning. Stop, now we're going to lie flat in the back, we're going to do some ab crunches here. We're going to take the dumbbells in our hand for these and we crunch up to the side like so and then onto the other side. So, going to the opposite side of the knee. You're in like a skull crusher tricep extension position to start with. As you raise up, crunch the dumbbell to the opposite side. That extra bit of weight. Extra bit of resistance caused by the dumbbell. Makes it a little bit tougher. Makes you engage your core a little bit more. And you should start to feel this burning pretty quick. Keeping the dumbbells in hand, we're coming up into tricep extensions next. So we're going to go double arm kick, or sorry, kickbacks. So we elbows up and line the spine, we're going to do one at a time. Don't let the dumbbell come up to your shoulder, try and avoid getting any extra momentum. Take the onus off the tricep. Stop, now we're gonna go pec crossovers, dumbbell crossovers, call them what you will. You really gotta squeeze your pec for this one. Keep the arms straight. Squish those pecs together. Really engage the pectoral muscles when you're doing this, guys. Get as tight a contraction as you can. It's very easy to cheat in this one and just swing your arms from side to side. So if you're really focusing, on the muscle grip you're trying to hit, you really feel that's really effective. exercise we're going to go front raise and we're going to alternate so left arm up again core strong abs drawn in no swinging eyes up front
stop. Woo. So, I'm gonna start with some squat presses. So what we do here, guys, and we hit the timer, we're starting in 10 seconds, we get the dumbbells up in line with the eyes, we're gonna squat down nice and deep and then turn it into a shoulder press. So don't let the dumbbells pull you forward, stay nice and upright, and away we go. Squat nice and deep, up into a press. Keep the eyes forward. If you're looking at the ground, you're tilting over too much. Nice deep squat into a big shoulder press. And try and do it in one motion rather than stopping up. Squat, I'm going straight into the press. Stop. Now, next exercise, you're going to do a side lunge into a wood chop. So, you only need one dumbbell for this one. Take a hold of the dumbbell with both hands, double hip width apart, and we side lunge up into the wood chop. Stick with the one side for now. And stop. So, stand where you are. We're going to swap it over onto the other side now. So, we're going to lunge down to your right side, up into that wood chop. Three, two, one. Let's go. And stop. Okay, up next we've got a gladiator press. So again, we need the one dumbbell for this. The renegade row and twist into a press. So, in position, and away we go. Upright row. Or single arm row, sorry. Up, turn, and press towards the center. Try not, try not to twist the hips too much in this one. And again, if you want to go heavier with us, and you have the dumbbells at your disposal, then go for it. Up. So grab both dumbbells. Up next, we got split stance, split squat, sorry, and do a side lateral raise. Right foot forward, left foot behind, split squat, side lateral raise.
stub, then we're going to swap legs, and this time we're going to do a front raise, okay? So, left foot forward, right foot behind. We do the split squat and do a front raise. So, down and up. Up next, we got press crunch. So we're going to lie, lie flat on the back. We do a crunch, up and do a press. Up. Okay, up next, we got a burpee into an upright row. So set your dumbbell on its head. We do the burpee and we pull it up to your chin. And away we go. So here, dead left position, elbows up high, dumbbell up to chin. So make sure your back is in a nice dead left position before you do the movement. We got a bend over row and do a double arm tricep extension. So, jump from the hips, pull up towards you, so they extend. Get the back nice and flat. Bring the elbows up and line your back before you extend those arms. And don't swing into it. So, don't tuck them up. Don't do this and tuck them up to your shoulders and then swing into it. Keep the elbows up in line with the back. Pull the dumbbells up directly underneath your elbow. And then we extend the arms. And stop. Now, finally. We got a back lunge to balance, to curl, to press. Okay, so I'm starting the right leg, and it's a back lunge, up to balance, bicep curl, shoulder press, down. Swap sides, back lunge, balance, curl, and press. Lost my balance there a little. One more on each side. Ah, 
and stop. Okay, so let's get started with the ab routine then. We're gonna do a pullover crunch to begin with. All right, we're gonna start in 10 seconds. What a pullover crunch entails is we take our dumbbells behind us, we crunch up and come back down without touching the feet of the hands off the ground. Are we going in three, two, one, let's go. So make sure your upper body crunches up as your knees come in towards your chest. So this will work. The upper abdominals and the transverse abdominals as well by throwing the legs into it. Just make sure your belly button's drawn into your spine and you're not arching your lower back. And stop now we're gonna go into side plank dips okay so what we're gonna do is get a right forearm underneath our right shoulder we raise up bring up the dumbbell and we lower the hips down to touch the floor but don't rest them there and then push them back up all the while holding the dumbbell in the hand straight up so imagine you're holding a glass of water you don't want to spill it your obliques. I should be kicking in about now. Getting pretty tough. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, so now we're gonna swap over onto the other side. Just swap my hat around here. So left elbow under left shoulder, crisscross the feet, raise up, lower those hips, and then lift them back up again. And stop. Okay guys, up next we've got jackknives. Now, you got two choices here. We can pop the dumbbell in between our feet, or you can do it without a dumbbell. And we're gonna bring the knees in the chest, and then fully straighten them out. Slow and controlled. If that's too much for you, just do it with the legs and no dumbbells. Keep those shoulders away from the ears so we're not bunching them up around the neck. We're not putting excess pressure on the traps. And stop. Good job. Up next, we're going to do some uh, flutter kicks. So we're going to take the dumbbells up like so. We're going to raise the legs up to low diagonal. And we're just going to Keep the legs straight and flutter them up and down. So no bend the knee. Make sure the arms are drawn in towards the spine. If you're arching your lower back, come up into a crunch up top. Should eliminate that. But this will be tough enough just doing it like this. Okay, 
Nice. We're going to do a right hand to left foot. So we raise the right arm above our head. We're going to crunch up with the right arm up towards our left foot and bring them back down. Don't let hand or foot touch the floor. Breathe out as you're crunching as always. Keep the arms straight, keep the legs straight. Don't let either touch the floor. And stop. Now we're going to swap it over on the other side. So right hand out to the side, and we're left arm up, touch the right foot, or the right shin, whatever you can get to. And don't let the feet or the hand touch the floor. Abs should be filling up now, guys. Three, two, one, and stop. Good job. Up next, we got our cherry pickers. So, we're going to bring the right arm up like so. And we're going to bring the legs up and kick them towards the sink. Again, don't let the feet touch the floor. And stop. Now we're gonna come back and do the other side. This is the last exercise, but for now, we're gonna go into robot planks. So from the low plank position, going up into the high plank. And away we go, so up in the right arm, and down, up in the left arm, and down. Head over hands, keep the butt and line with the back and line with the head and line with the heels. And step. Now, last one we're going to do. And it's going to be the cherry pickers on the left side. So we take the dumbbell in the left hand and we bring the knees into your chest, kick up and straighten them out. Again, just imagine you're holding a glass of water. Keep it as still as you can. Keep the arm nice and straight. And stop. Whew. 
And that is us done right. If you enjoyed that workout guys, don't forget, we got over 260 videos up here to choose from. Something for everybody on there. Hit the notification bell, hit the subscribe button so you never miss a Zeus Fitness workout again. Leave your comments below and tell us what you would like to see from us in the future. Thank you guys, good luck.